Okay, I was cajoled into this one. Um, these passed me by. I did know of them. Uh, which is Chaos's um, IndyCars. So we're in the McLaren. And we are at Watkins Glen. We've got eight laps. And, um, yeah, wish me luck. Started in the middle of the field. 32 cars on track. AI is set to 100. And I am probably three laps in with them. Practice. Now, normally I run the A at 110, but these things, uh, no, I'm running them at 100 because they are way, way quick, jeepers quicker than me. I need to get up to speed in them, really. So let's talk about these cars. So it's uh, 740 of brake horsepower. Car does move around quite a bit on power and braking. Uh, it's not kind of subdued by electronics. Cars do feel quite weighted compared to kind of F1 stuff, um, but they do feel more. Uh, you're in more control, or you are when you can drive them, I suppose. Uh, the Euro is, as you can see, uh, very, very active. And with the car having a tendency to understeer, which is what you want really. You don't want something this frisky tending to oversteer. That's, that's not a good look. Okay, graphically, uh, I am stunned, but quite literally stunned at the detail both inside and outside the cars. So let me hit the uh, boost button if I can. There it goes. Watch the rear uh, exhaust pipes on that car spitting up out the top of the bodywork. I'll show you in a bit, a bit more detail later because I've got full damage on, so no doubt I will stuff this in the wall before the end of the race. Again, watch the flames, watch the flames. <laughs> Just beautiful. Just little, little, little details like that. Um, just make my day, all day. Sound is good. Handling is stunning. I've turned it up to like 110 on the force feedback. Well, that's just because I'm on a G29. It's just about it's got much poke as a, a wet lettuce. Okay, it's going on the apex in fourth. I believe it nailed. Whoa! Oh my gosh! That wasn't the plan. Didn't like them curbs much. So, what I'm going to do is, when I get around this lap, I will uh, try and keep quiet. I'm just watching this guy at the back of me because I am, I've started middle of the pack, but I am nowhere near quick enough to be going middle of the pack with these guys. Get the boost back on. Over the bump. Brakes are phenomenal, thank goodness. The aero just feels right, and it's it can be quite leery if you get your foot stuck in there. But nothing you can't control. Well, feel like you can control. <laughs> Even locking the uh, locking the wheels up, you can modulate the brakes so nicely on it. Just those curbs are unsettling. It's just put me in a bit of understeer. Okay, let's try not to hit the curbs now. Somebody going up the inside of me. I've had to go wide. Okay, 
give you a, a lap of listening to this wee beast. And we're back <clears throat> still in one piece I am running this on full damage and failures and all the rest of it so one wrong move and it'll all be over I've just Murray walking myself there possibly so as we go hammering around the MX-5 is uh, on the verge of either being put out as is <laughs> Or he'll get to the bottom of the most insidious bugs you've ever seen in your life. You've been chasing them around for a few days. Lex TC. Godspeed, brother. Godspeed. But uh, you're going to like that when that drops. And if you're into your open wheelers and you haven't got this... Uh, then you're certainly going to like these. These are uh, something else. I know they have got a bit of a cult following. So jump on the uh, jump on the train. I can see why they've got a bit of a cult following. My gosh! Whoa! How did I hold that? I'm, I'm, with these cars, when I race these cars, the old formula stuff and the open wheel stuff, it takes me a while just to uh, get the flow, do you know what I mean? Get the uh, the reaction times in and all the rest of it. Until I do that, I am very, very slow in them, as you can see. Maybe it will click in as we go along. And I'll actually overtake somebody. Oh, there it is! I think that was the boost button more than my, me uh, clicking in. Don't be twitching at the side of me, sir! Okay, big drift. Get it around the outside. No. Yes, you have got enough control to drift these things around. Which is insane. Trying to keep a bit of traction on the back end there. Didn't work. It's coming to me, it's coming to me. Slowly but surely it's coming to me. Oof, that was a bit. And so was that. It's gone from me. It's gone from me. What are we on? Okay. What my tire? Oh, tires are taking the battery. I don't think the uh, my uh, over ambitious uh, handling and soft tires works that well. Let's 
it's not a rally car rowing don't slide it as one well. in comes that beast button beast button is working we're really mean just their entry speed into the uh, corners there the devotion to the brake pedal and trust in it is far higher than mine it means I'm not going to run into the back of them on the braking but I'm certainly not going to outbreak them whoa gosh that uphill section again and I can't I, yeah I'm braking earlier than them and still missing the apexes Is that on the steer? Oh, that was interesting. The trail braking just told me a little bit. So we're on the last lap now with what's left of my tyres. So, all in all, I am um, very impressed with these. If you haven't got them, go get them. Um, they are stunning, a stunning mod, graphically and physics-wise. These are going to be interesting in 1.6, actually, especially with the open wheeler and the new textures. I am, uh, yeah, suitably impressed. Thank you to the person in chat who went, go try them. I have gone and tried them and uh, thoroughly enjoying them and will be trying them again. I think I need to get on top of these. It's just that that transition between understeer and slip angle is just evading me at the moment. And that corner up the hill <laughs> with my lead right foot. Ooh, okay, that was a new one. So that's the point where it's too late. All right, okay. get too unsettled by the curves as long as your speed's not too high. Oh yes. Amazing car. Absolutely amazing. The detail on it is stunning. Just to uh, let you have a look at what we are looking at here. Oops, no, that's helmet cam. Ah! Just a few camera angles at the end just to get an idea. I've got to look down at my steering wheel, see what gear I'm in. Yeah, as you can see, absolutely stunning car models. Even the vibration on the front wing. Some more camera angles. And the big V6 burbling away. They don't, they don't tend to burble, it's more screen. Oof, and just to prove it's uh, full damage on the car. There you go, there's just severe damage. <laughs> that's that's straight apparently. But apparently. Right, thanks for watching. Don't you be folding your arms like that and looking away and give me side eye, Jim. People complained about you making too much noise, so you're gone. So that is um yeah. I'll leave a link in the description below. Stunning, stunning mod. Thanks for watching. He says, trying to find the stop video button. It's not working. So you're still with me for a while.